Media Bridge, our last segment discussing about Indonesian transportation policy development as well as promoting Mrs. Eka Lorena Surbakti, the latest book, Membela Angkutan Umum. You can see a lot of beautiful Indonesian photographs from west to the east. Yeah. Dari Otokol Flores hingga Bajai, Jakarta. Yeah. Who doesn't know about Bajai? Well, regarding the main title of this book, why you choose this particular title? Membela Angkutan Umum or Defending Public Transportation? I believe it's time to defending public transportation because if some people didn't uh, didn't realize it, it's time because you know a lot of suffering of from congestion, the high cost of transportation, the high cost of logistic. This is the time. If we would like to be the seventh powerful country in the world in economy, you have to understand about how important to mobilize people mm. and how important to mobilize goods in this country. And as we know, 60 to 90 percent all over in, all over the world. All of the transportation delivered by road transportation. Agree. Yeah. yeah. In Indonesia, 90%. So, uh, we need to, you know, wake people up regarding we have to defend, we have to support, we have to push the regulator to make, to create policy that really put public transportation, to put all of those type of vehicle for uh, logistic as their priority. Yeah, if yeah. they're really concerned how to uh, demolish poverty, because without mobilization, without movement, you cannot abolish uh, poverty. I see. Uh, no wonder during this talk show you keep repeatedly say this, not until the transportation is being a priority, nothing gonna change with Indonesian public transport, right? Yes. Along your journey in finishing this book, yes. all the way from west to the eastern part of Indonesia, yes. which part of Indonesia you find it most inspiring and encourage you more to be business people in terms of defending the presence of the public transportation? Well, when we travel to Flores, yeah. You know, I feel very sad. Almost 70 years this country become independent, you know, we have our freedom. But still, you know, they only have one type of public transportation that can help them to move from one point to another point. Is uh, they try to design a new type of vehicle called autocall. You know, it's supposed to be for a truck. Mm -hmm. But since they need public transportation, there, there are no support from the government regarding uh, properly building a public transportation. So they create this autocall. And I can see uh, people with young kids, you know, with babies, yeah. sit together with horses, with goat. And I felt really, I was my God. And the view are very fascinating. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. And then, you know, they have, sometimes they have to travel across the river. Agreed. I was like, oh my God, yes, sir, you, know, yes, you must be serious really you know but uh, it really touched my heart yeah. business viewer you really have to grab this book because a lot of moving picture I mean a picture who can really encourage and move our emotion as well an old lady hanging around on the auto call yes this yes. is something we need uh, to share with our viewer yeah, as well this is our country this, this is, is our this is what's going on this is this is the reality of Indonesia the real picture of Indonesia again it's the time for us to membela angkutan umum or defend the public transport public. Mrs. Eka Sari Lorena Surbakti it is always insightful and interesting discussion anytime we have you in the talk show program you are the chairman of Organda Central Board thank you so much for your time Best luck for your book again, Mombela Angkutan Umum. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Man. Thank you. Let's wrap up our talk show for this time. Hope to have you soon in the next Economic Bus with other issues to bring up in the discussion. I'm Erwin Suryabrata. We wish you best luck in doing your business today. Let's talk about your business in IBAS, only an MNC business. We are the first business channel in Indonesia. Have a nice weekend, everyone.